Hey guys, before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a brief moment to relax and meditate. So wherever you are, sit up straight and gently close your eyes. You can put your hands on your thighs and slowly inhale through your nose, taking a nice deep breath. And exhale slowly, also through your nose. On the next inhale, through your nose, see if you can hear the audible breath sort of in the back of your throat, making a sort of Darth Vader-like sound. And as you exhale, same thing. See if you can hear the sound of the air, the back of your throat. Inhale deeply, sending the breath to any parts of your body that might be feeling tense today. And as you slowly exhale, feel that tension release. One last deep inhale. Make it as big as you can. Feel your spine growing nice and tall. And see how slowly you can exhale, savoring the breath. As your body feels a little calmer. Great job. Gently open your eyes. This multiple choice problem comes from the College Board and it's from section three of the SAT test. That's the section that does not allow calculators. And it says, which of the following equations has a graph in the xy plane for which y is always greater than or equal to negative one? And you have four choices. So take a minute to work on this and see what you can do. If you're not sure how to approach it, you can just take a guess, and then we'll have a look at it together. noticed that the problem talks about a graph and you may have thought well I need to graph each of these four equations to figure out which one is the right one and I've got a much easier shortcut and when I show it to you I think you'll agree that it's pretty powerful and you may even be surprised at how easy it makes it to identify which of the choices is correct Think about plugging in a value for x that is really easy to work with. What value of x is really easy to work with? Well, I'm going to try x equals 0, because 0 is 
a really easy value for plugging in and substituting in for x. So let's see what happens. So in this first equation, if I put 0 in for x, I end up getting y equals negative 2, right? Because the absolute value of 0 is 0, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And the condition we're trying to satisfy is, is x always greater than or equal to negative 1? Well, in this first instance, it's not. So I can eliminate a. All right, let's keep going. In the second instance, we're substituting in 0 for x. So 0 squared is 0 minus 2 gives me negative 2. So again, y would equal negative 2. And negative 2 is not greater than or equal to negative 1. So I can also eliminate b. I think you're seeing that this goes pretty quickly. So let's try substituting in 0 for x in the equation in c. So 0 minus 2 is what? Negative 2. And if we square it, we get 4. So y is equal to 4. And that, in fact, is greater than or equal to negative 1. So it seems like c is the answer. And if we want to check for sure, we can look at d. So I have 0 cubed if I plug in 0 for x. And that's 0 minus 2, again, is y equals negative 2. And you could do most of these in your head. So I'm going to eliminate d. And what you see very quickly is that the answer is c. So that takes us not a whole lot of time, right? You could do most of these in your head and maybe in 10, 15 seconds, know that C is the right answer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this strategy. It's basically emphasizing that you don't have to solve all of the problems from beginning to end. You can actually substitute values in to see which ones can be eliminated. If you have any questions or any suggestions or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you subscribe to this channel, you'll be notified of new videos as they get posted. I enjoyed working together and I look forward to seeing you again.